about the price. The pricing should be according to your region, to your country, to the area in the city, to the quality of your eyelashes. Sometimes you can find cheaper or more expensive eyelashes. Also the brand, the brand, the strong brand will have a higher price normally. I have seen some beauty salons charging by the minutes or by the lash uh, amount. Well, depends. You can you can do that or you can just have a fixed price. And uh, the eyelashes, when uh, you have finished, they shouldn't be stuck together. Each single eyelash has to be separate from the other ones. This is considered work of a good quality. Like this, you also protect the eyelashes from uh, the damage because one eyelash can grow, another can still sleep, be in the sleeping mode, let's say, so we don't want it to be pulled out by the growing one. And uh, another way to have the look enhanced, uh, you can put only uh, eyelashes only on the corners of the eyes, or let's see, from the half of the eye, um, they will also go from shorter ones to the longer ones. This type of application is better for those who have already quite strong and black eyelashes, otherwise it can look strange. Imagine if uh, the eyelashes are blonde and you are putting the extensions from the middle of the eye and maybe they are uh, quite a bit longer and uh, black, so it might look strange. But uh, some, some uh, women can request such style as well, just on the corners of the eyes. So here you have again a nice photo of before and after. You can see that before the eyelashes were shorter, um, less thickness, and then with the extensions it's very nicely lengthened and uh, there is more volume. So yeah, it's really, really nice effect. And you can also see that in the inner corners the eyelashes are shorter and then they gradually become longer. One little tip that in the photo before you can see that uh, the eyelashes in the outer corners are shorter as well. So there you can put a couple of shorter extensions. Then uh, what to tell your client what not to do uh, after having the eyelashes done not to wet them immediately. So just give it at least a couple of hours to cure, for the glue to cure. Some, some technicians would say that just around 10 minutes, wait 10 minutes and then you should wash them. Well, it depends, it depends. There are different glues, there are different uh, eyelash extensions. So my advice would be just maybe the same day not to try not to wet them and from the next day's morning you can the, the client should wash them normally because it's important to wash them otherwise the dirt pieces will stay and it can cause infection and irritation so we don't want that uh, of course not to use oils oil will dissolve the glue and uh, everything what's like creamy creamy powders, creamy eyeshadows, they have to be very well removed with the remover, makeup remover, yes. Uh, some uh, clients, they will ask, so what should I avoid? Uh, they are really scared. Some, they, they just go out after the first time they had their eyelashes done, they just go out, they say, okay, I will not put oil, that's all. But some are extremely afraid not to touch them, and so... You just have to explain that this is something foreign, yes? It's glued on your natural eyelashes. So you just have to take a little bit more care not to rub your eyes too much. If she wants some more volume, it's better to 
add some next time when she comes back for the retouch rather than put mascara and makeup because then uh, it will be very difficult to remove it. Yeah, and not to overuse sauna and the pool. I had such an experience that one girl, she went to the beach and stayed there for like 10 hours and she came back for a retouch and the tips of the eyelashes were melted. <laughs> so yeah, just not overdo things. Mm -hmm. And makeup remover should be water-based. This you can recommend. You can even sell it in, at your workplace. You can sell special makeup removers so it will be easy for a client. She will not have to go and search for it. It is not recommended to sleep your face with your face down in the pillow because it will rub uh, the eyelashes and they can fall out a little bit faster. And the extensions may be damaged as well. And then a little bit about the removal. You have again all the videos, how to remove a single eyelash, how to remove all the eyelashes, uh, how to remove an eyelash without using a product. Everything is in the videos. But just some couple points. Uh, the, the remover can be in different forms. It can be liquid, creamy or gel type. And you should use it accordingly to the manufacturer's instructions. But normally you just put it and wait for around 10 minutes and then the eyelashes, they just automatically uh, fall off and it's easy. If you wait five, maybe not all of them will um, detach, disattach, yes. And uh, it's very, very important to remove the product very well because otherwise the eyes they sting so much you, the client will be it will hurt her eyes for sure it's okay you you should you you will be able to remove it completely but the process if it gets into the eyes it's very annoying for the client it's terrible so better to be sure and remove it completely so thank you so much for the course Again, if you have any questions, there are the question answer sections where you can write it. Don't hesitate because I'm here to give you all the information possible so that you succeed in your eyelash extensions journey. Thanks and good luck! So, first things first, we are washing our hands to prepare for the treatment. Uh, we are washing it, them uh, with the soap and then uh, the disinfection with a special liquid or gel is followed. Uh, then in this video we will assume that we have already removed all the makeup from the model. So the makeup, normal makeup, uh, has to be thoroughly removed with special products. It's the best to use non-oily ones so that there is no residue after the removal. And um, just to make sure the eyelashes are clean, we will use the primer special product just before the eyelash extensions treatment. Here you will see how we glue the original, let's say, those stickers which were the first to come on the market. So it's just kind of a scotch, which can be, as you see in this video, it's transparent. They can be also white. It's better to have such stickers which don't have little hairs, if you know what I mean. Some, they, they can uh, interfere with the treatment because they will, uh, the, the hairs, the little hairs will start to stick to the glue, to the eyelashes. So here you can see I cut in a couple pieces uh, the scotch so that I can adapt it to the form of the eye and I'm gluing them very near the eyelid edge on top of the lower eyelashes so this can be also done before you put the gel patches like this the gel patch doesn't move from its place 
because one thing with gel patches is that if it goes near too much near the eye it becomes a little bit wet and it can irritate the eye of the client so really check well that also all the eyelashes are under the patch in this video you will see how i put the gel patches on top of the scotch you don't have to always put scotch if uh, the patches stay well but uh, as i said in the previous video it helps to keep the gel patches in place so you have to adapt the to the form of the eye don't put too close to the inner corner check that all the upper eyelashes are out that they are not under the patch and like this you have a nice white base to see the eyelashes well if the gel patch doesn't want to stay in place you can fix it with the scotch on top sometimes it can happen because there was makeup or it doesn't fit exactly the eye shape that's why you shouldn't put it too near the nose so that it really sticks well to the skin